ladies and gentlemen, to bout number four of 11 for the evening. Proudly brought to you by Berkshire Autos and Demos Direct. Three by two minute rounds, kickboxing. 73.5 kilogram weight division. Referee in charge and for the first time tonight, Mr. Ignatius Missalides. Firstly, to my left in the blue corner, trained by Steve Benn from Team Inc. Fighting Arts. Last night at the weigh he weighed in at 71.2 kilograms, hailing from Sydney in New South Wales, and is wearing camouflage shorts tonight. He's had 21 fights for 12 wins and five by way of knockout. Please welcome Josh the Duke Wayne. And to my right in the red corner, trained by Jamal Hassan from the Jamal Hassan Kickboxing Academy. Last night at the weigh-in, he weighed in at 73.4 kilograms, hailing from Broad Meadows. Tonight he's wearing silver shorts with black trim and has a fight record of six fights, three wins and one draw. This is Camille Kilike Yusel. Fighters to centering, please. And another massive fight, boys. What an action-packed night of fight it is. Friday the 28th of March 2008, Macedonian Centre in Sunshine. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Josh Wayne from Sydney up against Jamal Hassan's young gun, Camille Youssel. And Camille, six fights, three wins, one draw. He's a little ripper. He is. Takes on uh, Josh, who's had 21 fights, so a bit more experience. But uh, Camille comes out punching every single fight. The shin guards are off now. Josh Wayne's uh, fought here a couple of times over the journey. He has. He's had that mixed fortune, fortunes, rather. So we'll see how he goes. But he's a busy fighter, isn't he, Hammer? He, he yeah, keeps yeah. getting into the ring, which takes a lot. It does, it does. And again, he's uh, stepping up to the plate against uh, one of Jamal Hassan's boys. And you know, they always go a little bit nuts. And, uh, <laughs> and what about really Jamal? Throw, what about Jamal, Hammer? What an absolute legend he is. Well, he's trained some great fighters. And uh, very much under the radar, Jamal. He doesn't, uh, doesn't stand up and... Uh, Puff up the chest a lot, but uh, he is a very underrated trainer. Very, and, very uh, highly respected. A real, uh, a real legend of the sport. Been around forever and a day, and uh, have a lot of respect for Jamal Hassan. Nice, some nice right kicks from Camille. Sort of just testing each other out with uh, poking out some kicks and some punches. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Opening. They're poking them out, aren't they? But Camille has landed some good leg kicks. You can already see bruising starting to welt up on the... Uh, oh, leg that's a Josh. nice right. That's quick from Ucell. Very quick right. It's just catching him on the forward movement, Camille. And uh, it's nice timing from him. Power from Camille too. Josh Wayne uh, needs to get his... Oh. He's unleashing yeah, now. Might be all over. He's Ignatius hurt. middle 80s. Three. Drop down the one, oh, one leg, drop down it. the one leg after a beautiful flurry from Camille. Got him in the corner, didn't he, Hammer? And yeah. he hammered, hammered away. Just uh, absolutely unleashed. Fight beautiful goes work. On. Fight Wayne. goes on. He's good to go. Camille Ir going in for the kill. Erkin Yildiz there in the corner. Having a look at uh, his training partner. See some similarities there in the fighting styles of uh, Camille. They only know one speed, mate, and that's flat out, these yeah, boys. Flat Come out, on, Camille, isn't he? Back in the corner again. Buried ahead and punch and kick. <laughs> and they do it well. He's happy with himself, young, uh, young Camille Yusel. Yeah, he is. And it was funny, just in the other corner before he went for a flying kick, maybe to end the fight. He missed. And he nearly went through the ropes. Really he put everything into it. I really get the momentum up. And uh, Camille Yusel, he's going to go back. And uh, in this second round, he'll be coming out nice and confident. Second out, round two. Camille Yusel. Coming in for the kill. Stood up during the uh, break there. I think uh, trying a bit of a psychological edge over his opponent. Jeez, he's quick, Camille. He's come out so firing. So quick. Just landed a big right hand then. I was doing exactly what Jamal Hassan called for. Inside thigh, round kick and back with the hook. So uh, he's working the, the tactics that uh, his trainer told him to uh, go out and employ. And doing them nicely. And his combinations have been so powerful, haven't they? Following up kicks with punches, 
just sort of stalking Josh, not giving him a time to a chance to settle down. And full credit to uh, to Josh Wayne for hanging in there. Yeah, he's come he's come back in now from an eight count, displaying a lot of courage. He got fixed up by Josh Skeeter, didn't he? Josh Wayne last have, year. Yep. There's uh, Josh is coming back into his fight now. Camille settled down a little bit. He just unloads a flurry then. This is his seventh fight, Camille Usel. So Josh Wayne's record, have you got that there? Yeah, 21 Camille. fights for 12 wins, including five KOs. He's had a, he's had a lot of ring experience. Yeah. Sure. He's been in there more than a few times. Hit and miss. 12 wins from the 21 fights. He's absorbing a lot of punishment, Josh Wayne. Have Camille to, uh, Usel well on top. Maybe move sideways or something when uh, Camille comes rushing in because he's landing four or five kicks and punches at a time every time he comes in. You summed it up pretty well before though, Quentin. Camille stalking his opponent, not giving him any any moment to breathe and to gather his thoughts. And then he just tried, and he, uh, just like that he unloads with a big right hand. That could be it. That could be it. He's courageous, Seven. Josh Wayne. Eight. Well, certainly well caught, but they just need to... He's, he's very rigid around the shoulders and the, and the arms, is Josh Wayne. the bell. He needs to uh, relax a little bit more with his, with his hands and his shoulders. He's, he's very rigid and, and, that's, and too tense, and that's basically slowing his punching down and also his defences uh, against the punches of his opponent. And uh, it's just that upper body tension that is really a challenge that Josh Wayne will, will uh, have to overcome, I feel. Hammer, Camille Yuzel has been super impressive though, hasn't he? Uh, he looks very uh, very confident and as this fight goes on, he's getting more and more confident and uh, and that, you can't, you can't uh, measure that, it's, it's, uh, it's an insurmountable thing uh, to be a fighter and just get out there and, and look at your opponent and know that you've got his number. Absolutely. I've and been now, impressed with his combinations, Quentin. He has, and now he's now he's really Camille's actually uh, settled down, trying to pick his shots. Oh, he's landed a couple of big rights and a rib kick there. It's almost been the perfect fight from Camille. He's fought a very good fight. He's gone in for the kill. He's paced himself when he needs to pace himself. I reckon he's dead set serious to uh, to really put his name up in lights, and tonight might be the launching pad for Camille Usel. Yeah, he just walked into a little jab there, but uh, he's sort of, I think he may, he knows he's won this fight, doesn't want to do anything stupid now. How courageous has Josh Wayne been, boys? Oh, he has been, he's uh, been knocked down twice. He's been sent to the canvas twice. He's got back up both times. Great fight. And he's still fighting back. Of course he is, nice. Right kick from Josh Wayne. Camille moves in again. If uh, Josh just turns his palms in a little bit more towards his face, it'll drop his elbows down and stop him from getting kicked in the ribs also, because he's got his palms He's taunting out. him. Look at, look at Camille. Jeez, he's confident. Bit arrogant too. Suppose you need that. I think he may know he's won this fight. He shouldn't be taunting him though. But anything can happen in a two minute round of kickboxing. So everyone's got a, there's always a puncher's chance in any fight. Of course there is. Absolutely. Usel shouldn't be doing that. He should just be trying to accumulate those points and make sure he wins this fight. I've been so impressed with his speed though, boys. Yeah, so been... speedy. Timing his attacks and moving in for the kill. I think it's a convincing win there to Camille Usel. Yeah, good word, convincing. Camille did it easy. Josh Wayne, great courage displayed. Well done, young fellow. But Camille Usel, Hammer, it's just his seventh fight. Three wins, one draw from six fights going into tonight. So uh, the boy from Broadmeadows could well be on to bigger and better things. Well, hopefully he'll uh, go away, refine his technique a little more and uh, come back to fight another day. A bit more conditioning, I suppose, will uh, we'll push him along, but uh, a good match-up. Got the boys from Berkshire Autos and Demos Direct. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, unanimous point decision, blue corner, Camille Kilike Yusel.
Red corner, ladies and gentlemen. Fighters had swapped, so it was changed. So your winner, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Kit Camille, Killer K, you sell. Did it pretty easy. Congratulations to Josh Wayne. Great courage. Yeah, but Camille Yusel could well go down as one of the big news stories out of tonight's night of fight. He could go on to bigger and better things. That's his, just his fourth win, seven fights, one draw, so a couple of losses in there. No, he's been a little bit hit and miss, a bit hot and cold. 